Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Python. In fact, till this point we have seen basic stuff, right? But now we have a question, you know, till this point we are using IDLE as our IDE, but what if you want to use command prompt? You know, normally when you work with uh, shell or command prompt, you want to access Python on the command prompt. How do I do that? Let me just try. So if I open my command prompt, if I say cmd enter, and now if I type a command, let me just try. So command is Python. You know, in Python, we have certain libraries which we have, which we'll be using later. Uh, so Python supports certain libraries which we can use to make our project efficient. So to access those libraries, we, we need the command, right? So here, if I say Python, if I say enter, oh, it says Python is not recognized. That's weird, that's bad about this, right? How will I make it work? Now, what's wrong here? The thing is we have installed Python, right? What, what is wrong? The thing is you have installed Python in your C drive somewhere, okay? And CMD is not able to get the path of it. Okay, so if CMD is not able to get the path of it, that means you need to specify that by yourself. That if there are multiple ways of doing this, one is by saying set path, this is a command which you have to use uh, equal to, and you have to specify the path here. But this is a temporary setting, you know, because the moment you close your command prompt and open and reopen it, you will lose the path. If you want to make it permanent, what you will do is you will go to your C drive and here you will right click on the screen and you have to say properties. Click on advanced system setting, go to environment variables. Again, you can directly go from your from the start menu itself. We just type environment variables, you will get it. And here you have to set the path, but where I will, I will change the system variables. And if I double click on this path, you can see we got the prompt here. And in this prompt, you need to add the path. But which path? I don't know. Let's open our my computer and go to C drive. So in C drive, go to users and then your folder. So first of all, you need to go here. So in C drive, users, whatever username you have, and then app data. Inside this, if you click on local, and then you have to go to programs, Python, and then this one. So when you open your my computer, you have to go to this part, so which is which is visible there. And depending upon your username, it might change. Depending upon the version which you are using, uh, it will change. But then this is one of the paths we have to use. So I will copy this path, go back to the environment variables, and click on new paste. So we have done with the first path. But we have to specify two paths here. The first one is that which I have mentioned, and then script as well. So this one as well. So copy it and go back. Say add paste. And okay, so by doing this, you are setting the path now. Okay, once you have done that, close everything, go back to your command prompt. Uh, if you try now typing Python, it will not work. You need to make sure that you restart your command prompt. I'll close this, type cmd. Now let's try typing Python and it works. You can see we got a Python prompt here. Let's, ver let's verify. Two plus three, uh, always it's enter, you got five. It's working, you know. Okay, everything is working, everything is fine. In fact, you know, the best way to check, ever check Python is by using print, hello world, print and hello world, say enter, it, it works, right? Python is working. So this is how you set the path if you, are, if you want to access Python in your machine. Okay, that's great. Now, once you have talked about this, we have another thing to talk about is help. Now, you know, when I was learning C for the first time, it's way back. And at that time when I wanted to explore C programming, because in books as well, you will get limited knowledge and in uh, lectures as well, you will get limited knowledge. If you want to enhance your skills, what I used to do is in Turbo C++, we used to have this, uh, you know, help option where you will see all the uh, header files and you can see what is happening in that. In the same way, in, in your Python as well, we have help option. If you want to access that thing, it's very simple. Just type help and give a round bracket and say enter. It will open a help prompt for you. Okay, now what help you need? Now, basically Python has certain modules you can explore, but how do we know which module it has? Okay, we, well, I don't know. So I will, what I will do is I will type topics. In fact, if you see the docs there, it says search for topics. In fact, you can also search for something which we have used till now and say enter. You can see we got list of modules available or topics available. Okay, which one you want to know about? Let's say I want to know about, uh, I want to know about list because we have seen that, right? So I will type list. Okay, this, this thing tells everything about list now. So if you, if you scroll down, we have some methods here which we have used, if you remember. So these are the methods which we can use, you know? So it talks about everything. So which version has been included, which things. And this is amazing, you know, instead of buying a book, instead of, uh, of course you have to, you should be watching my videos. And then with my videos, you can read the documentations, right? It will be very really helpful. So this is about list. Okay, now how do you go back to your command prompt? Uh, how do you go to uh, back to the prompt? You simply say quit 
enter your back now and let's say if you want to find help on a specific topic you know about the topic so you will simply say help and in single quote you will specify list you don't have to go to help and then search you can do it from here as well if you know the command and you can see we got the information about list so that's how you can explore the, uh, about uh, you can explore different topics and you can read reading is very important you know so that's about this video where we have talked about how to set a path and how to explore the help option so that's it i hope you're enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and do click the like button if you're enjoying it thank you so much for watching everyone Bye bye